Hi, today I'll show you how to install XCA PTV Live TV Player to your Amazon Fire TV Stick. And first of all, you'll have to get an app called Downloader. We can get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. Just go to search on your Fire Stick, click on the magnifying glass, and here's the search bar. In the search bar, we will have to type Downloader. As you can see, it already popped out at the bottom. Click on it. And here's the application which you need to download. However, that's not it. You also have to set it up. To do so, we'll go to settings by clicking on the gear icon in the right part of the screen. Then scroll down until we see My Fire TV. Open it. And here we'll have to enable developer options for your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, especially on the new ones, the developer options might be hidden by default. So, if that's the case, if you cannot find the developer options, no need to worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and here you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see, now the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer, that's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now, and if you go back a bit, you'll finally see the developer options. Let's open them. Make sure to enable ADB debugging here, then go to install unknown apps and turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it allows you to install other applications from the internet and not only from the limited Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. Let's go to the list of your applications and here you'll find the loader, which we just got set up. However, before proceeding further, there's one more thing which I really recommend, it's of course connecting to a VPN. And in my opinion, the best option for that is NordVPN. They have a great app for Fire Sticks or any other device you may use, be it a laptop, mobile phone, your PC or anything else, they have an app for that. They have thousands of different servers and they're not expensive. And most importantly, if you use my link in the description below this video or in a pinned comment, you'll get 4 months of NordVPN totally for free which is a great deal. I believe you always should use a VPN, especially if you're downloading something from the internet, especially the adult applications or any live TV players, because you never really know who the real developers of those apps are, what they're doing with your data, and of course you even shouldn't trust your ISP provider, because they might be tracking you as well and spying on you. So get NordVPN, use my link in the description of this video, get 4 months totally for free, and let's proceed with the video. After everything is set up properly, let's open the loader. And here in that search bar, we'll have to type a code, which is going to be 28907. So once again, the code is 28907, and, that, and then press on the go button. After the website loads, you have to click on the magnifying glass right here at the top of the website. It should open the search bar for us. And then in the search bar, we'll have to type XCIPTV. You can see the exact search request at the top, then you press to the next. And after a couple of moments, a new web page is going to open. Let's scroll down a bit. And here is going to be the load XCIPTV player button. Click on view the page. And if any ad opens up for you here, make sure to click on close because if you click on open, it would mess everything up for you. So click on close, and then a new web page is going to open, which we also have to scroll down. Keep scrolling until you see the download button, click on it, and now the download is going to start. By the way, it might take quite a bit, because the file is quite big. Then click on install in the right bottom corner, and the app is going to get installed. Then after that, make sure to click on done, before actually clicking open, because it's going to allow us to delete the installation file, as we don't need any more, but it logs the memory of our Fire Stick. So click on delete, and delete once again. And now when you go to the list of apps on your device, you'll see the new XCAPTV app here. Let's open it. The app is going to offer you to enter your extreme code, as well as username and the password, which you get from your provider. However, you can use the M3U URL as well. To do so, press on the settings button in the right uh, bottom corner 
and change the panel type to M3U. Here you'll be able to enter your usual M3U link to access your provider's uh, channels. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the guide. See you next time.